Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another first impression of the week from my first impression series. Today I've got for you this new product from Real Techniques and this is called the Brush Cleansing Palette. So I'm gonna just go over it and give you my first impressions on this and then we're gonna go ahead and use it and I'll let you know what I usually use as well to clean my brushes. So first of all, with regards to the price of this, I've got the receipt here. This was $12.99 and I got this from Superdrug. Um, to me, $12.99 is not bad actually for something that I've never seen before. Um, it also comes with a brush cleansing gel as well like two little sachets as a free trial so that's a nice bonus so not too bad for 12.99 but i think we'll be able to justify the price more when i use this and see how good it is or not so good it is so i'm just gonna read you what it says on the packaging by the way the packaging is um lovely really eye-catching i like the pink and they've actually changed their um, branding slightly as well. But nice packaging. So it says, brush cleaning palette um, improves makeup brush performance on the front. And then on the back it says, great makeup application starts with a clean brush. The brush cleaning palette helps sweep away makeup, oil and impurities from bristles to give you truer, more consistent colour application. Performance grade silicone, lightweight and ergonomically designed to fit comfortably over the hands. And it says exclusive multi-textured surfaces designed to gently work between the bristles for enhanced deep cleansing. So let's get this open. To me, actually looking at this um, brush palette in the packaging, this does look like it will be quite hard the actual palette but we'll see anyway it says it's silicone so it can't be that hard but it does look like it's going to be a hard plastic palette if you know what I mean so let me get into it Hang on. okay so this is the palette no it's not hard at all it's nice and soft um, and durable so if that's the word yeah durable um, so that's good. And then it comes with this handle at the back, I guess, which is to put your hand in so you can use it to swivel around your brushes. I was just seeing if I had a brush with me, but they're all over there ready to be cleaned. But I'll show you in the demo anyway. Um, and then it obviously comes with two little sachets of brush cleansing gel. And this says it's 7.39 mil. So that's actually really nice um, to have that as an added extra because then that would make me decide if I wanted to buy the full size brush cleansing gel as well. So also on this palette, I can see all the different nodules for um, cleaning your brushes. On the back of the packaging, it says the small brushes can be used on um, these tiny ones here and then medium brushes on this sort of crisscross area and then the large brushes on these large ball bits so that looks interesting um, and then it says step one hand um, I'm not sure actually what that says because I had a funny security label over the packaging. Why do they always put it on the bits that you need to read? Why can't they just put it on the side? That really annoys me. Does it annoy anyone else? Um, so I can't see exactly what it says. Hang on, hang on. Right. Slip hand into the palette and squeeze a dime size amount of our brush cleansing gel onto the tool. Add warm water to the palette. Step two, swirl um, brush into the gel and water across the various surfaces until the brush is clean. Rinse bristles thoroughly, being careful to not fully immerse the base of the bristles. Squeeze out the excess water. Then step three, rest your brushes across the surface of the tool to air dry or use the panoramic case 
from our sets sewed separately to dry brushes upside down. So I'm gonna take you um, to my sink in the bathroom and we're gonna give this a go. And then at the end, I'll give you my overall thoughts and a roundup of whether I thought this was good or not. Okay, so I'm ready to start cleaning my brushes, but I wanted to show you what I usually use to clean them. So I always take the Johnson's Baby Shampoo, and that does the trick really well. And I also use this nifty little tool from Primark that I got, and it's actually a face scrubber, but because of the bristly bits on it, this is actually like a rubber, um, it's really great at deep cleaning my brushes. So we'll see how this compares to the Real Techniques palette. So I have three different size brushes to test out. So I can test them out on the different size nodules to see how they compare and things like that. So let's get started. Right, so I've popped my hand into um, the cleaner and it says to pop a bit of the brush cleaning gel into the palette. Okay, so I've put about a dime sized amount like it says and it also um, recommends to wet your brush in lukewarm water. So I've done that um, and I'm gonna start swirling this around it says. But I'll do this actually on the big nodules which is what is for the big brushes, sorry. <laughs> Right, this is after one clean. As you can see, it's not really cleaned it very well. So I think I'm gonna have to go in again and use some more of the brush cleaning gel. So really you're using the same amount that you would use with the baby shampoo, well I do anyway, to really get these brushes clean. So I'm gonna give it another clean again. As you can see, it's still dirty, so actually I'm gonna go in with the Johnson's Baby Shampoo and see if that works any better with my little Primark rubber um, tool and try that out instead. Here's the brush after I did it with the baby lotion and the Primark rubber tool for the third time. Um, it has got rid of most of the bronzer that was on there, but I think actually the longer bristle brushes don't work as well on the Real Techniques palette. Um, they just don't sort of really get into the bristles enough. So I'm gonna try one more big brush and see how that works out. Um, I've got this other long haired kabuki brush here. So I'm gonna give that a go as well. This kabuki brush actually worked a lot better than the longer bristled one. The other one was just a bit, little bit longer and like I said, I didn't think it got really into the brush. But this one is great and I'm actually finding these middle nodules the best to work with. And also, um, they say on the video to clean the brush in this and then rinse it off in the water, but I actually find still rinsing it on this um, under the tap is better as well and that really does clean it so that must be the trick to it. So I've just zoomed in so you can see the rest of me cleaning the brushes so I'm going to do this medium brush and then this small brush as well. Thank you. 
Right, so the medium and small brush, this palette worked really well for them and it got them cleaned really quickly as well. And then it also said on the packaging that you can balance them on the palette to let them dry but this would only be ideal for sort of one or two brushes but if you're doing a lot of brushes then obviously you couldn't put them all on this palette so you would have to put them somewhere else to dry. Okay so I wanted to give you my overall thoughts on this cleaning palette. So first of all with regards to cleaning the brushes and the different size nodules, first of all with the duo fibre brush I don't think this palette cleans these as well just because they've got longer bristles and at the end they're quite thin so there's different size bristles within this and I think this is better maybe just to start on this and then just use your hands to really get in there because I did have to clean this quite a few times and I usually do um, anyway but I just don't think it the nodules because they're shorter it works into the bristles as well. So with regards to the other brushes, I ended up trying a Kabuki brush, that worked really well and as I mentioned before what I said, I found it easier um, to rinse the brush in this palette as well, so you got that extra deep clean. The nice thing about these um, short nodules is they're very gentle on the brushes but you still feel like you're cleaning the brushes really well. Um, with regards to the two smaller ones, this cleaned them nice and quickly and nice and deep cleaned as well. This one had a lot of product on and within sort of seconds it got rid of it really well. And also using it on these smaller nodules, it was really good at helping get into the bristles nicely. So with regards to the brush cleaner, I did really love this, the scent was gorgeous but I think comparing it to the baby shampoo, they both do the same kind of job and I think the baby shampoo is better value for money for the amount you get and just because I do use quite a lot I think that is a better buy but I might try this in the future if I do I'll do a review on it on my blog. As with all my first impressions and reviews I like to give them a score out of five so I give the Real Techniques brush cleansing palette 4.8 out of 5. I absolutely love this. I think it's genius with the three different nodules to accommodate all different size brushes. I love the fact that it's rubber and waterproof and the fact that it's got a handle on the back and I've never seen anything like this within the UK market so it's really unique to the UK and for the price I think you can't go wrong it makes cleaning your brushes a bit more enjoyable as well. So guys thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed another first impression video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more inspiration and also give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. If you missed my last two previous videos go ahead and click on the links in the pictures and that will take you to that video. Have a wonderful rest of the day guys and I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye!